UBC, it's the most well-known and accredited university in all of British Columbia. But did you know they have a campus in the Okanagan known as UBCO? Today, we will be taking a deep dive into the differences of each school and also finding out which one is right for you. First, let's talk about the acceptance rates for each school. For UBC in the year 2023, the acceptance rate sits just at around 50%. That's for the undergraduate programs, which is good news. They accept just over half of the undergraduates who apply. But how does that compare to UBCO? Well, UBCO actually has a much larger acceptance rate at about 70% for undergrads who apply. What about graduate programs though? Are those any different? The answer is yes. The two schools are actually much closer when it comes to graduate programs. UBC has a 23% acceptance rate and UBCO has a 24% acceptance rate. So it's a smidge easier to get into your graduate programs at UBCO. So if you're living closer to the interior of British Columbia, the Okanagan campus can be a great option for you, especially if you don't feel competitive enough to apply to UBC. Now, let's discuss the difference in programs offered between UBC and UBCO. UBC, by and large, offers a much wider variety of classes and programs to choose from. For example, UBCO offers around 25 chemistry classes. How much does the UBC main campus offer? Around 80. Also, when it comes to engineering, UBCO only offers civil, electrical, and mechanical engineering. So if you're thinking about doing any specialized engineering that I didn't mention there, UBC is the obvious choice there. UBCO also doesn't offer any remote campuses for programs such as physiotherapy or medicine, like UBC Vancouver or even UNBC does. If you are entering the sciences, it's also good to note that UBC Vancouver offers way more labs and resources when it comes to sciences. So if you want to get your hands on that and maximize your scientific education, that is absolutely something that you should be considering. Now let's talk about the size of these schools and their campus lifestyles. The largest and probably most obvious difference between the two is UBC has 70,000 students and UBCO only has 10,000. This makes UBC Vancouver seven times larger than UBCO. And this can be good or bad depending on how you look at it. UBCO is known to have a much more laid back campus lifestyle and smaller classroom settings, which seem to foster better friendships and connections. UBC can also offer this. However, with the large amount of students, it can be more competitive and harder to make friends. In terms of food options on campus, UBCO almost has none. Just a Tim Hortons, a Chinese food restaurant, and of course the University Cafe. If you want anything else, the Airport Village, which is like a three minute drive, has way more food variety options. UBC, however, is like its own town on campus. Everything you need is located walking distance away. Things like groceries, pubs, restaurants, you name it, UBC campus has it. Reason for this being, with the larger student populace, it's way more feasible for businesses to supply there. So be sure to keep that in mind. So there you have it. So, which school do you prefer and why? Be sure to comment your answer down below. And also guys, remember to like this video if you wanna see more content like this in the future. I'll see you guys next time.